BEP wellness tips with Gary and Larry. So we just talked about what is burnout and wellness. What are we going to talk about today? Let's talk about what to do if you're watching this and you're feeling that way. So, so what can you do? What, what, would you, what do you want to tell those guys? Man, it can be a terrible way to feel. Yeah. And um, you can feel quite alone, even ashamed about feeling that way. Um, and I would say, you know, most importantly, reach out. Just reach out. Do not go in and uh, crawl up on the ball on your own. Like, reach out. Um, we're trying to create more and more avenues to have options for you to reach out to. Mm -hmm. So certainly, uh, if you feel comfortable and you're experiencing what you think is professional burnout, um, sometimes certainly getting in touch with folks um, at your site who can probably relate to the things you're going through. Maybe so, somebody you trust, a friend. Yeah, a friend or colleague at the site. Right. Certainly, a med your medical director. Site director. Um, should uh, you know have the at least the resources to know how to help you with that, uh, or at least know where to point you. You can certainly, as the vice president of provider development, call me. And again, it's not that these people, including myself, have the answers for burnout and why why would they not have answers to burnout well i think cuz it's not a problem it's a it's a dilemma it's interesting it's a so one issue. of the one of the things that larry and i have learned is that um, we as physicians we love problems particularly as emergency dogs, yeah. providers and hospitalists as well we like problems that can be solved and burnout's a dilemma and the the difference between a problem and a dilemma is that a problem has a solution uh, and a dilemma has multiple different answers to it, uh, all with different upsides and downsides that constantly have to be managed. And so uh, whether it's professional burnout or, um, or depression or anxiety, there is no absolute solution to that. It's something that needs to be managed. But, but at the same time, and I think you and I are beginning to get some experience in this, there's hope. Things right. can get better, even if you're in kind of the biggest slump or the deepest hole things get better, there's a process, there's steps to take, there is hope. So reach out to us, your Medical director, director somebody. and myself, mental health professional, if you already yeah. have a relationship or start a relationship for our employees, um, you all have uh, access to an EAP program, so particularly our APCs who are our employees um, have formal resources available to them. Uh, call a good friend, but man, just, you know, Get this thing out, what no matter what time it. Yeah, what is <laughs> got a little concern there for a moment, you know, huh? You're pulling out of your. Yeah. And uh, and make a phone call to someone, and um, make what a phone these, call to one of us. What a Raider fan would be packing. Yeah. <laughs> what else? So besides reaching out to somebody, what other things are we doing about wellness and burnout? Well, I think hopefully the most important thing is is we're reaching out to you all to find out what you want. In need. We've had a lot of kind of grassroots response, and so what do you want to do? You know what I want to do? I want that retreat. He wants a retreat. I want a man. retreat. He wants a Think wellness enough retreat. Enough people want a retreat. We Little make hot that rock happen. treatment, some seaweed enough people, treatment. Enough people talk to you. Uh, You're going to make that happen. Yep, he's that been retreat. pushing for that. We'll get that into the budget, huh? But but we've got our good book. This is available to you, and it's got a lot of steps in here, things you can practically do, you know, in addition to kind of teaching you what it is, what is burnout, how it happens and what you can do about it. We also are looking at uh, your site likely has already had a wellness champion identified at it. Again, we're, we're looking for folks who are interested in this and so certainly you can become an expert in this and help yourself and others at the same time. See one, do one, teach one, right? So yeah, if you have an interest. Work at the site level to kind of make little things better about the coal mine and then also kind of help your canaries to build resistance. If you're interested in, you know, becoming involved in the in the effort, um, burnout at vephealthcare.com. Just go ahead and send us an email. Tell us your name, your site, and the fact that you have an interest in this, um, and we'll we'll get you plugged in and start soliciting you for what you think needs to be done. Yeah, and, I, and I'd say again, the conclusion, the the takeaway is there's so things can get better, and and we've got some solutions to that, that yeah. dilemma. You're holding one of them right now. Uh, patient satisfaction is important, but provider satisfaction is important too. That's why we're doing this. You're a precious resource, so be well. We'll see you on the next videos.